Hey guys, welcome to the exclusive look on how we recreated goodbyes by Post Malone. Uh, we pulled off this project in about a week's time, right before Halloween in 2019, and we did it for about $200. I phoned in a lot of favors from my filmmaking friends, I had a bunch of extras come and help out, we had people donating uh, vintage cars, and yeah, for about $200 we were able to pull this off, you know, had to buy some fake tattoos, some fake blood and some tombstones from Party City. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna kinda go over how I recreated this and give you an exclusive look. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. So it is the big day of shooting goodbyes by Post Malone. Um, I have gotten three hours of sleep in the last three days. I had about three weeks worth of logistics to figure out in like literally three working days. I am so tired right now, but uh, I'm heading over to Jason's. We're gonna pick him up, and then we're gonna head over to the first location. So I just parked the uh, car over here, and uh, we got everything set up, and we are going to get started uh, just as soon as everybody gets here. But um, yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, it's coming together. I never thought I'd be doing this. I'm so stoked to be doing this video. So I almost didn't film this project at all. I met up with Rachel right here, and uh, I told her my whole story about how I almost met Post Malone and it didn't work out, and she kept insisting, Denny, you gotta do this project. So so we made it happen thanks to Rachel. And uh, right here, Jason, uh, Jason Jerwitz was the director of this, the director and cinematographer, and he shot a bunch of my videos, and if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have you know, been able to pull off all the videos that I have done. But um, Jason's been an amazing friend and uh, I've really learned a lot from him. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, that's action. This is the other Jason on set, uh, Jason Soria. Uh, he goes by Chopsky on Instagram. Uh, he's a photographer and skateboarder. Uh, we grew up skating way back in the day. And uh, yeah, he came and helped out. He had a motorcycle and it, it helped out with some of the shots that we had to pull off. So. He was, he was really fun to work with. This looks so good. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's it, that's good. And that's Jason right there, uh, flying the drone for the first time. He's never flown a drone, and we needed to pull off a drone shot, so I gave him my drone, gave him the controller, and he did a perfect job. It was a simple shot, and uh, he nailed it. The second location we went to was Gypsy Parlor. I shot Happier there, uh, if you may have seen that video. They're always open for creatives coming in and using the space, so we got to shoot there for nothing. So this is my friend uh, Kaylee, mm -hmm. Kaylee Cleveland. Um, yeah, she's turning me into a zombie right now, and hopefully in the next uh, hour or two, we're gonna hop inside and get some shots. And this is us setting up. So the hero table is gonna be like right about here. That's gonna be Rachel and Jason. We're on a really tight schedule because we still have a ton of stuff to do. So it's really all it is, just be sitting around, hanging out at these tables. Thank you very much. Hopefully we'll be shooting in a few minutes. So Post Malone collabed with uh, another artist, Ty Dolla Sign, with uh, this video, and he's up there singing, but because this is an instrumental, I wanted to have somebody up there playing the piano. So we used our resources and we found a piano at Gypsy Parlor that we pulled up on stage and we were able to have my buddy Rook uh, play the piano and it kind of fills in the gap of that collab up there. And if we could have Jake, Jake are you over there? Yes. Um, if we could have you literally Which checking Jake? off like so we know exactly what we got. Yep, that's perfect. So the very last shot of the video, Post Malone is drinking a beer and it's coming out of his cut in his neck. Uh, we kind of did the same thing, but we did it with smoke. So I, I did my own little spin on that and we fished a hose up through the handkerchief. And I had my friend Tom blowing his vape uh, through the hose, so that was kind of cool. There was a bunch of shots that we kind of had to omit just because of like the time crunch we were on. Uh, Post Malone's walking through the town, uh, there's someone, a waitress who sees him, there's somebody spilling water out on the side of the road, um, there was also a, a couple sitting in a car, 
we weren't able to get all of that stuff so we kind of condensed it and uh, I'll show you in a minute what we used instead of that. This is where he's walking in. Uh, we recreated that shot where uh, I turn and walk in and uh, that's, that seemed to turn out pretty good. And this is right here where we did our own little flare on it. Like me walking into the bar, you know, talking to the bouncer or gesturing to the bouncer real quick. Uh, this part right here where she's filling up the drink. You know, this is all kind of like filler to uh, kind of make up for all of the other stuff that we weren't able to shoot and include with him walking through the street. Oh, that, the mirror thing. Right? Yeah. That Wasn't was cool. that cool? That was like a, a yeah. happy accident. Yep. Yeah, and if you can see real closely on the mirror, uh, you can see me just walking through and that just added like a little bit of like foreshadowing and like a little bit of uh, trailing away as I walked away. I think that looked really nice. Here's another section we did. Uh, this is with Babo. Um, Babo's a friend of mine that I've known for years. I try and include him on most of my projects and he always has just such a perfect look for just a character in the video. And he always does such a good job. How fast can you hop on your bike and take off? I mean, if it's already started, that's the question. After we filmed the motorcycle going away, we went to the next spot. Let's break down and go to the next, uh, the next location. This is the third location that we went to, my friend Vinny's backyard, uh, another free location where we did the graveyard scene. And I bought a bunch of tombstones at Party City and set everything up. Uh, but this is me setting everything up uh, the day after the main shoot. The, the day of the main shoot, we missed a few shots of just, just B-roll shots that I kind of knew that I could come back and pick it off. But um, yeah, this is just some shots of what it looked like setting it up. I had to set it up two times in a row. Uh, but it was worth it. And uh, the second day that I went back, I got the, the specialty intro shot of the graveyard. So this is a time lapse of the sun setting at a graveyard. Uh, we recreated that by putting a camera on a slider and filming it twice going the length of the track. I stacked the two clips and then crossfaded the two and everything worked out really great. I, I, I needed uh, the camera motion to be perfect two times in a row. So I filmed it earlier, I filmed it a little bit later, and then I blended the two and then crossfaded the clip. I also found a time lapse on YouTube um, and then I wound up just superimposing the time lapse into the sky. And the finished result looks really good compared to the original, so I think we did alright on that. The very next shot is Post Malone coming out of the ground, and I was thinking we were gonna have to bury me and get my hand coming out, but Jason had a genius idea of building a little tabletop that was that sat just above the ground, and I came in underneath and stuck my hand through, and we, we had like a little uh, cut out of a piece of cardboard, a garbage bag going across, and I was able to cut just a little slit and stick my hand through it. So that worked out perfect. And as you can see right here, uh, it, it really served its purpose. It wasn't exactly the same shot as the, as the one that he did, but it was, it was close enough. So this is me getting ready to be buried alive. Uh, that was a really weird experience, just having all this dirt poured all over me, but um, yeah, it, I, I felt I felt at one with the earth, but uh, it was just a once, well, maybe a twice in a lifetime experience, um, but yeah, uh, it, it worked out great. Um, you know, comparing it to these shots right here, and turning into the light and everything, we had a, a, a huge light on a stand about 30 yards away and it really gave off like a perfect look so uh, here's a little bit of the performance um, I, the color grade J Jason did the color grade on this and it looked so so good um, and checking the footage that's cool it's perfect yeah yeah and we finished off the night with breaking a few tombstones over Rachel's head so <laughs> that was fun um, yeah, so guys, thank you for tuning in and checking out the exclusive behind the scenes look on how we pulled off this video. I couldn't have done this without Jason, the director, uh, cinematographer. Uh, I couldn't have done this without Rachel. I mean, she inspired me entirely with this project, uh, having her believe in this and get behind it and say, no, you know what, you have to do this project. I, I couldn't have done it without her. and. My girlfriend Caroline, uh, this is the first time that me and Caroline worked together on this project and 
shortly after this we started dating so this was kind of a, a milestone for our relationship this was the the first thing that kind of got us working together talking together and uh yeah the rest is history so i appreciate you guys tuning in thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video